Well, to our feature game, Atletico Madrid nil, Espanyol nil. Let's get some more reaction, shall we? Alex Kirkland uh, was at the game for us pitch side. Alex, the obvious question that I have to ask you, and you may not have the answer, but you may have heard what's going on. Was Julian Alvarez injured? Don't know at this stage. Um, it was a, a bold substitution from Diego Simeone if there wasn't a problem taking the, the star summer signing off at halftime. We've seen Simeone, I mean, he's known to make these quite dramatic changes. He's not shy in terms of making changes early if he's not liking what he's seeing. Of course, he made here this triple change at halftime. Uh, Alvarez, one of those players going off. I have to say, those changes, I thought, initially at least, made a difference. We saw the players that were introduced all involved in creating chances. Uh, Griezmann did so, Marcos Llorente did so, Pablo Barrios did so as well but didn't get that goal it didn't come and there was a, um, an even more controversial substitution later on at nil nil very Simeone this taking off Alexander Solo the center forward um, and bringing on Reynaldo, a defender. Uh, the fans here did not like that. There were whistles when Soloth was going off, not for the player, but for the change, I think, from Simeone. And certainly a feeling of frustration here. We were here in the tunnel at the Metropolitano as Simeone and the players were, were heading down after the full-time whistle. A lot of sort of deflated-looking faces and the players sounding frustrated, frustrated listening to them speak as well. Um, didn't go as, as planned, but I guess they'll be sort of hanging on to the fact the team played well, the team created chances. On another day, they might have won this game but they didn't no they certainly didn't and well he, the argument will be well I pushed I brought Ronaldo on but I pushed Raquel me for the forward yeah and, and look you need a goal why did you take your centre forward off who with, who with any common sense he took both when you need centre, a goal he's yeah. taken both his right. centre forwards yes. off but yeah. you take both off I mean come on it makes, it makes absolutely zero sense and the triple, from any sort the, of the, position. The triple change at half-time to me was panic stations. Creating chances was not a problem. It, it, look, if, if Atleti had not created anything in the first 45 minutes, I'd have been like, right. yeah, right, come on. This, this is. But they were, they were creating chances. They weren't finishing them. The end product was not good enough. And, and you could look at Julian Alvarez. You can look at Lino. You can look at Sarloff for a couple of headers and a, and a scuff shot on his left foot. But why panic? They were creating those chances. So the law of averages said that one of those players, given their, their history, uh, would have probably taken one in the second half. And it just seems, and we talked about it before the game, the changes that he made already early in the season, four changes. He does seem to me, and always has, except in the last two or three years, a manager who tinkers more yeah. than most of the top ones. You show me an Atleti side. This, this, so an Atleti side at Villarreal, Atleti side against Girona, Atleti, Atleti side today. The playing uh, Bobo Atleti yeah, club, Atleti at, the club at the weekend. Atleti yeah. club at the weekend, and you sit here now, and I defy anybody to tell me what that Atleti eleven is going to be. Sure. Yeah. So that filters into the players sometimes. I mean, you look at one of the reasons that this team haven't been fighting all the way tooth and nail in the last few seasons for the La Liga title. Some might say it's the quality of the squad and others might say it's a lack of consistency within team selection. And I think we got a glimpse of that today from the manager very, very early, early in the season against one of the poorer sides, basically panicking yes. and just chucking a triple substitution on and then making more substitutions. And we were talking in our commentary, the players were looking around at themselves saying, what formation are we playing here? It was, it, was a bit, it was a jigsaw at the end that had pieces all over the place. It is a result that very much takes all that positive wind out of Atleti's sails, doesn't it, Alex? Yeah, that could change quickly. That could change at the weekend against Athletic Club if they get the right result. But yeah, here at home so early in the season with all these new signings in the squad, of course, you want to keep that, that positive vibe going. In terms of um, Simeone and, and the changes, I think what we've seen a lot from him in recent years is that he hasn't always been happy with what he's seeing from his team, but he hasn't necessarily been able to sort of find the solutions or work out exactly how to get the best out of the team either. You know, it used to be in the old days, sort of classic vintage Simeone, vintage Atletico. You knew exactly what you were going to get from his Atletico teams. It was a 4-4-2. Uh, it was so solid defensively. The last years we've seen this change to, to three at the back as he looked to sort of recover some of that defensive stability that the team has lost. And I agree, looking at the team today, you know, they were chasing a goal right the way through the game, all those substitutions later. The team 
looked like it had less of a goal threat in the last few minutes than it had earlier on after all those changes. Um, it's normal, I think, with, with new players coming in um, that you need a bit of time to work out exactly how the team's going to look, exactly what the shape's going to be. That's true for the coach, that's true for the, uh, for the players as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not ideal at this stage in the season, like I say, with so much kind of good vibes around the club with the players coming in. Yes, it is a little bit deflating to, to get a result like this, albeit it's only one result. Uh, meanwhile, Barcelona, of course, perfect after the opening three matches. Lots of positivity for them on the pitch. One devastating story, though. We saw Alex, of course, Mark Bunyell out for the season with an ACL. Um, he like the, looks like the latest one, Mark Bunyell. And just when he was sort of making a case to be a starter in the Barca starting 11 every week, he gets you know, one of the worst injuries a player can, can suffer. He's going to be out for, for a long time. Let's see if we see him again this, this season. It's really bad news. And it really took the gloss off that win because it was a really mm. good night otherwise uh, for Barca. Getting that comeback win, Danny Olmo, the new signing, debuting, scoring the match winner. All of that was good news. But yeah, this was a, this was a real blow for them. And it's in a position that... Yeah, they haven't got much back up for. The short run. Yes. And that one of the reasons, hence one of the reasons the young man's had some game time and has done very well up to now, is that, you know, it's a position last year that Christensen was playing in. It's a position that Frankie de Jong will probably play in when fit and available, but he's not really a defensive player. So, you know, on top of the fact you have a young player here who, and by the way, made a, it was a great challenge he made, it's just such a, uh, you know, the fact that he's come out with a, an ACL rupture from such an innocuous challenge is, yeah. is quite scary, really. And, you know, he's, you know I'm, I'm sure he's going to be fine in a few months. A lot of hard work and rehab. But it doesn't re help Hansi Flick any. They've had a really good start. And unlike Atleti, they've figured it out, haven't they? I haven't always played well, Bass. Yes. didn't play well at, at Valencia for a half. Got the victory. Uh, certainly didn't play well against Raya Vai. In fact, got outplayed for long periods yesterday in the first 45, but have figured it out to get nine points uh, out of nine. Uh, but this is a blow for him in that position and clearly a, a blow for the young man too.